And Governor Rick Snyder today said it's time for new leadership to take the reins in Lansing, endorsing his candidate for governor. As many expected, he's putting his weight behind his lieutenant governor, Brian Kelly. That brings us to our live poll question tonight. We want to know what issue should the next governor tackle first, roads, schools, or Flint water? Give us your answer at WXYC.com slash vote. And 7 Action News reporter Ross Jones sat down with Callie and Snyder today. He joins us live in the newsroom with more on that conversation. Dave Glenda, Governor Snyder said he has been dreaming of endorsing Brian Kelly since the day he made him his running mate all the way back in 2010. Well, today he finally did. When you got something really good going, folks, why mess it up? Calling him the best candidate to continue Michigan's comeback, today Governor Rick Snyder officially endorsed his lieutenant governor for the last seven plus years, Brian Kelly. He's done a lot to help people with um, addiction problems, mental health issues on many of those kind of fields to reach out and touch people in their heart. For a few minutes this afternoon, we sat down with both of them, and the duo was quick to tout the accomplishments of the last two terms. We're also up, though, 540,000 jobs, 17-year low in unemployment, $23 billion less in debt, um, top 10 state in income growth. The successes are easy to name, but there have been some notable failures, too, including the state's crumbling infrastructure, this recent report from the American Society of Civil Engineers gave Michigan roads a D minus. Overall, the state's infrastructure got a D plus. Eight years of the Snyder administration took us from a D to a D plus on infrastructure. Why should people sign up for four years of Brian Kelly? We, a few years ago, passed a road funding package that will put about a billion two more into roads, also indexing so that, it, uh, so that that investment will go up each year. And then there's Flint where residents were exposed to high levels of lead and Snyder's administration was slow to respond. Attorney General Bill Schuette, an opponent of Cali's, has charged high-ranking members of Snyder's team with involuntary manslaughter. I would say that in a time of crisis, look what a person does and look at your options in this gubernatorial election. Do you want somebody who points fingers and looks backward and just casts blame, or do you want somebody that will literally be there on the ground, shoulder to shoulder with people working on the future? Now, while he did not name him there, Kelly was talking about Attorney General Bill Schuette when he referenced finger pointing. Now, recent polls have shown Schuette holds the lead among Republican candidates, but it's very early. Glenda? All right, Ross.